It's October in Philadelphia, which means it's Red October, thanks to the Philadelphia Phillies. And there are some killer events happening this week all around the greater Philadelphia area. I'll share with you next, help you get in the spirit for hopefully a World Series run here. If you get some value out of this or you like what you hear, make sure to hit the bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to talk about buying real estate in Red October territory, our team can help you with that by clicking on the link in the comments. So... Red October, right? Nothing like it in the U.S. Citizens Bank Park is one of the most exciting places to be this time of year. And let's hope our team, the Philadelphia Phillies, take it home for the city. And they've got some killer things lined up here all this week. The Phillies got the bye this year. Their first game is not going to be until Saturday, October 5th at Citizens Bank Park. So beforehand, they've put together a lot of great events. It starts on Tuesday, October 1st with the postseason online auction to benefit Phillies charities. And the Phillies do a great job with charities all across the metro area. And it's the first time they're doing a postseason online auction featuring two dozen signed items from the 2024 NLEs champions. You can bid on things starting tomorrow up until Saturday, November 2nd at 10 p.m. It's phillies.com slash auctions. That's where you can get all that information. There's a couple things like games used, uh, pieces of memorabilia from Nick Castellanos, Kyle Schwarber, Trey Turner, um, Bryce Harper, Aaron Nola, JT Romuto, Zach Wheeler, and there's also going to be autographed baseballs from the entire team, catcher's mitt signed by Real Muto, all types of great stuff, and it's for a great cause. So if you like memorabilia, phillies.com slash auctions. That starts Tuesday, October 1st. Then, Wednesday, October 2nd, the Red October bus is back, and NBC Sports, NBC 10, Telemundo 62 um, are going to be giving lots of coverage, and they're sponsoring this. So it's a bus tour uh, that's going all around the area. It's going to start off Wednesday at 1130 at the Comcast Center in Philly. Then it's going to be at City Hall at 1.30 on Wednesday. Fayette Street in Conshohocken at 3.00 and Veterans Square between State Street and Baltimore Avenue at 5 o'clock on Wednesday. There's going to be special guests. There's going to be chances to get Philly swag. This is a really cool event, and it's a double-decker bus, and the Fanatic's going to be there, the Ball Girls, former players. Um, you got Hatfield is the sponsor, so I'd imagine maybe the Hot Dog Gun's going to make an appearance, and uh, they're going to be all over the greater Philadelphia area, Media, Conchahokan, as well as Center City. And then on Thursday, there's a Red October Rally. This is Thursday the 3rd, and it's at Chickie and Pete's, sponsored by Chickie and Pete's and WIP. It's from 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., so basically all day long. Uh, WIP Sports Radio is going to be broadcasting remote, and there's going to be people from the Phillies, special announcements, tons of postseason stuff going on that's all day at Chickie and Pete's in South Philly, so the South Philadelphia location. And then we've got... Friday, October 4th, the day before the game starts, right? Postseason block party at Garage Fishtown. They just repainted the mural there. It used to have Matisse Thibault, and then someone put some white paint on it. You got Marsh, Bohm, Stott, the daycare. They dump water on everybody when they win. Very cool mural up on the side of the garage, and that's going to be the last stop for the NLDS bus tour. And it's going to be an outdoor event. It's 5 to 7 on Friday. Um, and that's 100 East Girard Avenue is where it's located. Um, and there's going to, again, the double-decker bus will be there. Um, you got the daycare mural. Very cool stuff. And uh, they're going to, all throughout town, they're going to be Philly specials being offered at all the, all the restaurants. So probably a good thing the Eagles have a bye week this week. Nothing more exciting than Red October. Get out, support your team. Really cool stuff. And let's go, Phils.